Hey, my name is Jay and welcome to day number three of the seven day guitar challenge. Today we're going to learn your first chord and we're going to do it with some new strumming techniques. Again, all this stuff is a game changer for a beginner guitarist to make your life super easy and do everything the easy way. So today we're going to learn the names of the guitar strings. We're going to learn your first chord and we're going to learn your first strumming patterns. I'm really excited. There's heaps in today's lesson, but now you've got those fundamentals from those first two lessons. This is going to be heaps easier for you. Okay. If you like what I do please like this video subscribe to my channel and check out all the awesome courses on my website all right so firstly let's talk about the names of the guitar strings now in our last lesson you learnt the name of this string can you remember what it's called it's the lowest note on the guitar right it's called the low E string and you also learnt the next string what's it called remember the first letter of the alphabet it's the A string good job we also learnt this last string the high E string so so far we've got the low E just want to play that have your hand on the pivot you know what that means then play the a string great and now let's try playing the high e string great job really well done okay we've got a few more strings to learn back to the low e the next string is called the a of course next one is called the d string the next string is called the g string then we've got the b string and then we've got the high E string. Now, I don't have any magic potion to help you remember. There's a couple of rhymes that are really common. One is eat at dad's good breakfast every day. So that's kind of a cheats way of remembering it. So eat at dad's good breakfast every day. Another good one that's really good for kids is elephants and donkeys grow big ears. So just choose a rhyme to remember it, whatever works for you, but it is important that you remember the names of the strings as we go. So now you know the names of the strings, I can show you your first chord and talk guitar to you and you're kind of going to understand what I'm talking about. The first chord I want to show you is an E chord and it looks like this in the picture. Okay, what I would like you to do firstly is to put your first finger on the first fret of the G string. Okay, so there's the low E, the A, the D, and I'm up there on that fourth string across on the G. Good job. Get settled in there. Now, with your middle finger, I would love you to go across there and put it on the second fret of the A string. Okay. And then the third finger is going to come under here and just sneak in between there, between that second fret and that finger there, okay? So it's also this third finger is just next to that second finger behind that second fret. And they're squished in there, in there. Now, obviously, this one here, I'm going to get up to the fret. This one, I can't quite get right up to the fret like we learned in the last lesson. But I'm just going to do my best to get it as close as I can. Because of that, I'm going to have to push down a little bit extra on that one too. This one here is all six strings with my right hand. Okay. So that's what we want the chord to sound like. Now, if your guitar doesn't sound quite right, please do yourself a favor. Look in the description in this video and click on the link to the guitar tuning video. And that video will run you through me teaching you the easiest possible way to tune your guitar so it sounds awesome. Again, just looking back at that chord, we've got our first finger there on that first fret of the G string, second finger on the second fret of the A string, and third finger on the second fret of the D string. With my right hand, I'm gonna play all six strings. And that's what that chord sounds like. So if it sounds a little bit sick, if there's some string buzzes and that sort of thing, that's to be expected, okay? You've never done this before, so you're doing a great job. It's going to take a few days and a few weeks to settle in. But one thing I can tell you is that often when people start, their thumb might be up here, just like we spoke about in the last lesson. That's not often ideal. Um, as you get better, sure, you can do all that sort of stuff. But in this beginning time, if you can try and get that thumb just down a little bit, what you'll see is see the way it brings the height of those fingers up. So if the fingers are coming off on that sort of an angle, you're going to get a whole lot of dead notes like... Okay, that third finger is actually clipping that next string there. And that first finger is actually clipping that next string there as well. So you get those kind of dead notes. But if you can get that thumb down a bit and just get that little bit of extra height on those fingers there so they sit up a bit more like that, you'll see it just helps get that little bit of definition. If you've got a little bit of a buzz on a few, Okay, again, if I just get that third finger, just adjust it a little bit there, it makes it so much clearer. So there's your first chord, it's called an E chord. Well done. What I want to do today is I want to show you some strumming patterns on that chord and in the next lesson I'm going to show you another chord and then I'm going to show you the tricks to join the chords together. So now today we're going to talk about your first rhythm. Now most music is in what they say 4-4 four, four, which I'm not going to go too much down the theory rabbit hole but what that basically means is there's four beats per bar. Most of the time we're counting one, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, four, okay, over and over. And with your right hand technique, with your windscreen wiper, there's some rules that I need you to remember. Check this out. One of the rules is on the downstroke, we always go on the beat. So on the one, the two, and the three, and the four, we always go down. So one, two, three, four. Just try that again. One, two, only downstrokes, three, four. Well done. Now, the other rule is that when we're counting one, two, three, four, in between those beats, we have what's called the up beats, or sometimes they're called the off beats. We count them as and. What that means is we actually count one and two and three and four and. They're also called eighth notes. Now these eighth notes, when we play them on the guitar, the rule is we always go down on the beat like you just learnt, one, two, three, four, and then on the up beats, we go up. So it's one and two and three and four and again super simple but that rhythm is the fundamental of every rhythm you're ever going to play so you want to get this absolutely perfect so you can see the music on the screen there what i want you to play is that and follow the down and up strokes i would love it if you could count out aloud while you do it so let's try it together i'll count you in with four and here we go one and two and three and four and again one and two and three and four and okay super simple but it is quite hard for some when they start so don't worry if it's hard it's it's going to get heaps easier try and count out aloud while you do it if you can't do it it's because you're doing it too fast so just slow it down a little bit okay you can even go one and two and three and four and just like that okay well done let's try it together looking at the music counting out loud i'll count us in we'll do it for uh four bars which is a little while let's see how we go four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and again one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so again every day this week now with your windscreen wiper i want you to now apply that count to it you can do it a bit faster if you want one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four but we need to program that technique and that count into your body so it's basically on autopilot. That's gonna make your music learning journey so much easier. Believe it or not, every rhythm you're ever gonna play, I know I've said it before, but every rhythm you're ever gonna be playing is gonna be a modification of that rhythm I just played. So you really wanna have that ingrained, okay? So lots of stuff to practice so far in these first three days. I can't wait for day four, I'm gonna show you another chord and we're gonna talk about the easiest way to change chords and also how to ingrain chords into your memory so you never forget them ever again. You are doing an amazing job. Again, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my courses on my website if you like what I do. Thank you so much. I'll see you in day number four.